Okay, so technical difficulty. So if I divide the 150 divided by 4, I get a perimeter of 37.5, and that would be inches. So that would mean that we have the triangles of 8, given the sides of 8 and 10 inches. I know the perimeter of this big one is, or excuse me, of the small one is 30 inches. That means the perimeter of this one would have to be 37.5 because of the ratio, and that would be inches. So now we know how to find the perimeter of the ratios. Ratio of the perimeters, oh my gosh. Okay, so now we have the ratio of areas. So if the ratio of the perimeters is four fifths, then I know that there is a relationship of squared, so I need to square both of those, the numerator and denominator, and get 16 25ths. So the ratio of my areas are going to be 16 25ths. So let's go back to this example, and I'm going to tell you that triangle 1 has an area of, let's say, 150 <clears throat> inches squared. And so I'm looking for triangle 2's area. Okay, so I'm looking for triangle 2's area. So using this idea, I know that the areas have to be in a ratio of 16 over 25, and the area of the small one or the first one is 150. So that leaves x. So I'm right back to doing my means and extremes or cross products. So 16 times x is 16x. 150 times 25 gives me 3750. So x equals, divide that by 16, and I get 234.375, and that would also be inches squared. So in summary, the ratio of sides, let's say we'll put it as A over B, the ratio of perimeters is the same, which is A over B, and the ratio of areas is A squared over B squared. Okay, so that is the relationship of similar figures.